how we're approaching the end of the Harry Potter series, I guess. I'm gonna try to talk about the first six Harry Potter movies now. I already talked about Deathly Hallows Part 1, so... Um... Yeah, so... The first Harry Potter movie is the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone. Um, real quick, this movie was okay. I mean, this is not the best of the Harry Potter series in my opinion. Um, but I'm I'm gonna give it some slack. I mean, it's the first Harry Potter movie, so what they did, they did pretty good. I mean, like, um, let's see, some good parts about it. Um, I guess the over the whole overall feel of the movie, it's pretty good. I mean, like I can't really criticize it. Like if I had some nitpicks, um, let me think some nitpicks. I I didn't really like the whole the whole Draco Malfoy's character at first, cause in this movie, since this is the very first movie, um, they didn't really have a chance to. Uh, he's not really um, not a chance. He's not really developed as well. He is in the later movies So in this movie he comes off as a bull as just like your traditional bully. So in this movie um, But despite that you can kind of forgive that, you know, he, he starts out as a bully but becomes more interesting later on and Let me see some other parts. I can I had some problems with not that much actually like it's a ch it's a fantasy movie I mean I mean there's some pretty things to look at and the whole storyline of how this is his first year so he has to live with the whole fame of being the boy who lived I mean it, it, it's done pretty well in this movie so overall this is not a bad movie um it's not the best because it the whole childlike atmosphere i it i'm more i'm more leaning on the darker atmosphere of the other movies i mean because it gets more interesting later on so from as a starting as a starting point harry potter part one at sorcerer stone is pretty good but as a harry potter movie it's not the best there 